What's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you guys a quick and easy way, step by step, how to package your shirts up and get them ready for delivery. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do after you get an order in is get whatever product your customer ordered. Double check, make sure you got the right size, the right colors. Once you double check all that, uh, you're going to want to fold it and get it ready for shipping. Um, you can hand fold it, definitely, but that's very time consuming, especially if you start getting a lot of orders or you get big orders. So what I use is something called the Miracle Fold. I'll put the uh, link in the description box. But anyways, uh, so you get out your Miracle Fold, you put the shirt um, front side down. So you got the back side, the back of the shirt facing you, and then you lay it on it like this. You want the collar of the shirt to be right at the top of the Miracle Fold. And then you're going to have the bottom hanging off a little bit. So what I do is I fold it up. And it's not going to be perfect because I'm trying to fold it with one hand. But you want it to look something like that so it's not really hanging off at all. And then once you do that, pull it a little bit to the left. So it looks something like that. And then you fold the left side over. And... Take the left sleeve, fold that in a little bit, and then you're going to pull the whole shirt a little bit to the right. And after you do that, you fold the right side in, then take that side, fold that sleeve in a little bit, and then take the bottom and just fold it up. And then your finished folded shirt's gonna look something like that. Like I said, I did it with one hand, so it's not gonna look perfect, but it's still, especially when you're doing it with two hands, it's a lot quicker than hand folding. You can actually, once you get to hang this thing, you can fold shirts pretty quick with it. So after you do that, you're gonna want to take one of these little uh, clear plastic bags or sleeves, whatever you want to call it, and uh, put the shirt in here. All right guys, so once you put your shirt in your plastic bag, it's gonna look something like that. If you use the same type of bags that I use, there's gonna be a little adhesive strip at the top. So you're just gonna wanna peel off the backing, fold it over, seal it up. And once it's sealed it up, once it's sealed up, once I, what I personally like to do is put a little side sticker in the bottom right corner. So if you do that, make sure whatever size sticker you use obviously matches the size of your shirt and slap it. I put it in the bottom right corner because it helps a lot with inventory. It may, especially if you have your uh, product or shirt stacked up on shelving, it just makes it a lot easier to sort through and uh, find what you're looking for and pull it out really easily. But anyway, so once you have that in the package, you're gonna wanna come over here or wherever your mailer is, grab that, flip it over, put the shirt and the mailer, something like that, and then you can throw in whatever other goodies you want to. For L3, we'd like to throw in some stickers. So let's put the stickers in with it. You can actually put it in the bag or put it on top. Either way, it doesn't really matter. You can put business card or whatever other promotional or marketing stuff you want to put in there. And obviously, you just put it in the bag pull off the adhesive strip for the mailer, seal that up, and then once that's all sealed up, flip it over, print out your packaging label and all that stuff, or you can just write the customer's address on it, either way works, and put your return address on, if it's not already sealed up, seal it up, and then you are ready to ship it out. It's really as easy as that. Um, I'll also do a video talking a little bit about shipping, especially if you live in the US. Uh, I'll tell you what shipping company I use the majority of the time and I'll give you some tips to probably help you save a little bit of money and a little bit of time. But that's probably it for this video. Like I said, this thing's called the Miracle Fold. It really is a miracle. It helps save you a ton of time. I'll put a link to this in the description box of the video. Um, if you guys want to, I'll also put a link to 
the mailers that I use and if I can find what, where I got these from I'll put a link to that as well if you guys have any questions let me know um, if not I will catch you in the next video thanks for watching What's up guys, so before I go ahead and end this video, I just want to say one other quick little thing, and that is do not be afraid to get creative with your packaging. The reason I say that is because when you are first starting out and you're really growing your brand, it's extremely important to take every advantage of every opportunity that you can to differentiate yourself from your competition. You really want to make a really good first impression with your customers, and believe it or not, Packaging is a great way to do that, so don't be afraid to think outside the box, to get creative with your, whether it be using custom boxes or throwing in some really cool goodies with your customers' orders, whatever it is, like I said, don't be afraid to think outside the box and really think about what will make a good first impression with your customers and will make them remember your brand in the future, maybe recommend it to some friends, whatever it is, get creative. Um, that's all the tips I got for now. Like I said, if you guys got any questions, drop them below. I'll do my best to answer all of them. If you want me to expand on anything, like always, let me know as well. And I'll do my best to answer all of those. Uh, if the content helped you out, please give it a thumbs up, like it, subscribe, uh, comment, share, all that good stuff. And I'll catch you in the next video.